Do you know, we've Thank got you. more <laughs> men in the audience today than we've had for a very long time. I think I've just figured out why. We've got, Me. You've got, it's because of you. <laughs> it's because of you. Welcome to the show. Thank um, you. The, the two of you, as, a, as you heard in the little introduction there, you've been through some really difficult times, like ma many couples do mm -hmm. uh, throughout, their, throughout their marriage. But let's start at the beginning. You had, you had such an unusual start to your relationship, didn't you? Especially me. I had my little dream come true, didn't I? I wanted to marry him since I was ten. I used to wish on my Dougal birthday cake every year. <laughs> that you had careers talk when you were at school. That, you know, I had a careers talk. What do you want to do when you leave school? I don't need a job. I'm going to marry Gary Newman, except he was in <laughs> debt. So, you know. <laughs> I was in debt. <laughs> and when, when you, you did get together, obviously, you know, when, when you were older and romance blossomed and, yes. and you ended up together, it... How difficult was it for both of you to sort of reconcile that? Because for you, it must have been quite hard to have someone who has these expectations of you and, and loves you so much, and you must be feeling, I'm not quite what you think I am. You can't live up to, you can't yeah. live up to any of that, can you? Yeah. You know, they, they have... They, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> People have posters on their walls, and it, you know, it's yeah. all perfectly done. You, know, you look as good as you can possibly look. And they see you on the stage, and it's all lit up, and it looks quite exciting. And, and then they sit in a car with you, and you don't look like that. I'm six yeah. inches short. And, and he she tucked thought his jumpers into his jeans. I did do that as well. <laughs> Which was shocking. Do you know, yeah. out of anything you've shocking. done for him, thank God for yeah. that. That was yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And you're telling stories, and you start trying to be interested, and they've heard everything. Because yeah. it's all been in interviews. You've got, so you've got nothing to say. It's just. And is it true, the most shocking thing, you took her on a first date to a little chef? <laughs> in a budget There's nothing car. wrong with little chefs. <laughs> what did you it's think about that, nice though, Jim? Trips, did I, you feel... Did oh, you... I, I don't care about any of that stuff. So, you know, I, I was I completely excited. You know, I'd always gone to gigs with makeup on and all of that sort of stuff, so I made a decision to not wear any makeup because I thought, well, if he doesn't mm -hmm. like me without makeup, I'm not even going to start it. So I met yeah, him. Yeah, that was a mistake. With no makeup on. <laughs> no makeup, jeans and t shirt. I thought, Neither right, let's just go for one. it. So, how did that happen? So, you go from being a 10 year old girl who loves this poster of this yeah. pop star, and then, you know, you end up getting together. How did that I, happen? He fancied me. I, I, don't know, I don't know how that happened. Because no, I have I no not from, confidence not from in myself. that young age. You, no, because that's yeah. wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's just wrong being an, an adult idea. woman. Yeah. But I, I, you know, I used to go to all the shows. I mean, I wasn't allowed out to go to. Newcastle or Scotland or any of those things until I was an adult. My mum and dad wouldn't yeah. let me go to anything other than London. So I used to go around, you know, with a friend of mine and uh, go we to more shows. knew who you shows. were, though. Yeah, no, well, I didn't know you. We, no, we all knew she was. She would always be at the front. Yeah. She always looked amazing. And oh. we had a nickname for her, which I can't repeat. But yes. And, <laughs> and, and they would say, oh, she's in. You know, say, oh, yeah. oh, there she is. Oh, I uh, had no idea. Oh, no, you didn't know any of that. No. But, and then one, on one particular tour, because she was there a lot, on one particular tour, she, she wasn't there at all. And, we, and I noticed that she mm. wasn't. And at the very end of it, she did turn up. And, and that was the first time we'd had a, a proper conversation. Mm -hmm. and, so I knew her name, but we never really had a conversation. Yeah. And I said, you know, where have you been? And there was this, you know, terrible story. And her mum yeah. was her mum was ill and her mum was dying mm. and something. So we actually sat down and had a chat. Yeah. So it, it was through that, really, that, okay. that, that we actually started to talk to each other. What about all the other fans? Because when you go to gigs like that, you must see the same people. How did they react to you? Uh, well, there was a... Yeah, I, tr I had a bit of trouble at the beginning. We, but I knew them all, I, well, I knew their faces and stuff, but there would be the odd, you know, girl would walk past and think, you know, if you weren't here, and... Mm. But I don't care about any of that. I'm, I might follow one or two to the toilet, you know, but, you know, the, but I didn't really have a problem, cos Gary was who I trusted, mm -hmm. and he, he didn't give off anything that mm. made them think that he had a chance, yeah. and that's, that's all you need to do. Yeah. That I don't need to do anything. That's 